Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing great. I am doing a 30 minute session for a client. We're going to be focusing on support for a difficult relationship. It's left its mark. There's a lot of internal healing that is, is required here. So I'm gonna get into the goals shortly. I'm sharing distance psychic wisdom and energy healing to support this client. And I wanna thank you, the client, so much for the opportunity. It's really nice to meet you. It's really nice to have an opportunity to look into what you're going through um, so we can learn, we can grow together, and then to share it here on YouTube. So many people are going to appreciate the learning and just knowing that you exist, knowing what you're going through, because there's other people that go through very similar things. So I'm curious to see what we discover today. So thank you so much again. I'm going to go ahead and read your goals and we're going to get started. Okay. All right. So you say this. I've been working through a difficult relationship. I love companionship, loyalty, and trust in a relationship and the joy of having a soulmate. I'm tired. This relationship has broken my heart multiple times. There's a lack of trust. I feel it's changed me from someone innocent and warm into someone more hardened and wondering if a healthy relationship can be empty and still sustainable. I wake up at night working through a lot of hurt and memory. I want to find peace with letting go and peace with who I am after all these years. I don't know what is on the other side other than to understand and love myself. I simply want help with this inner healing and letting go process. Man. Okay. Give me just a moment here. I mean, so well articulated. I can really follow along here with what you're going through. Just kind of see through your eyes what, what this experience has felt like on some level. And what it's meant to you, how it's impacted you, how you're trying to build yourself up after this. Okay, hold on. I'm still taking in these goals. One of the thing, things that keeps hitting me because um, I'm getting pulled into the journey state here. Um, but when there's this um, solid embrace of, of what could be a, a wonderful relationship, and then to go through these um, steps over the years of um, the multiple um, times that your heart's been broken in this relationship, the lack of trust um, that's happened here, and um, the endurance, obviously, of going through a relationship like this and then how it changed you. Um, you're not the same person you remember. And even identifying this here as um, an empty relationship trying to make it sustainable. And so what are we holding on to here? Mm. There's got to be some, some reason why we want to hang on here. Now, waking up at night, you're working through a lot of hurt and memory, and you, you want to find peace with letting go, peace with who you are. Okay. I will say there's so much density to this. There's so much... Um, like, where is the room to breathe truly your own vibration, your own inspiration, your own spark? I don't feel that even... Just right now, we haven't even exactly gotten started, but I don't feel that this relationship has uh, turned you into somebody unfamiliar. I think being in that relationship, being in the memories, um, still working through a sustainable yet empty experience, I think that is why you are not familiar to yourself. I feel on the other side of this, you would find yourself, um, you would be quite familiar with who you are and you wouldn't be sort of um, in the shower. It's like taking a bath or a shower um, of memory, you know, <laughs> and reflection of the energy. You're just digesting it. You're bathing in it. The energy of reflection of how you've been hurt over the years. And naturally, that's going to turn you into somebody you're not familiar with, <laughs> especially in the state of all of that. I just felt like saying those things, okay? 
So thank you very much again for this opportunity. I'm going to be diving in here. And we're going to see what we discover, what we can do to really help you from the inside out. All right. Okay. Okay, where do we begin here? It's almost like we don't want to begin anywhere. <clears throat> I'm basically in a space that's full of white. It's like white, thick mist. And there's no visible images. I'm just sort of in a white, thick mist. It doesn't represent fog. It just represents kind of like a shadow of its own kind. But because it's white, it's not as uh, dreary or grim, okay? So if it was dark everywhere, there's a totally different vibe you're going to get from that than when it's white everywhere. <laughs> it feels clean in here. Um, it feels uh, brighter. <laughs> it feels more uplifting. But it's still shroud. It's a shroud. It's, it's hiding things. But um, so far, it's not necessarily talking about hiding so much as we don't know where to begin. So perhaps the beginning is hidden from us right now. <laughs> All right, so this is what I have to work with. I'm just going to chill and see where this takes me next, okay? Okay. Okay, Emmett, you're holding yourself back. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I feel like there's an umbrella and it's kind of rammed here. Like, like the if the umbrella has a curl at the bottom and then it just sort of opens up at the top, there's like this curl that's uh, kind of in my sacral chakra. And then there's this like umbrella uh, that kind of this like the stick part of the umbrella is like going through my emotional gut, my heart, but then the umbrella is like in my throat. And so we have all these chakras um, lodged, like this umbrella is lodged in all these chakras and you're trying to get it out. It's an umbrella. What a weird thing to see in your, in your body. <laughs> so there's this like need to upchuck it, like need to get it out of your system, but it's lodged. This umbrella is lodged, okay? Why an umbrella? I don't know, but that's the next thing. <laughs> that's that's the key. What is what is a beginning? If you're working on letting go, if you're look, working on um, a deeper level of understanding from within yourself, uh, isn't that a beginning? So the beginning is hard to see, isn't it? And it's not like this is hiding the beginning. It's just we don't know how to to we don't know how to visualize a beginning. We don't know how to imagine a beginning. We don't even know how to be present in a beginning because you're not at a beginning. You're actually perhaps at an end. I mean, I feel a little bit mm, maybe I shouldn't say that word. Like I shouldn't say perhaps you're at an end. Um, that feels like a dagger. That feels like a a chainsaw massacre, okay? <laughs> if I were to say you're at the end, that's a chainsaw massacre, okay? Um, but if I were to say you're at the beginning, ha, huh, that's a relief. <laughs> um, but we're gonna have to come to peace with the concept of an end and then a beginning, okay? An end and a beginning. And that's kind of freaky. Like, your energy field is freaked out by the conversation of an end. It doesn't... It would prefer to do without that word, <laughs> okay? And so we'll just work with what comes, all right? All right, all right. Uh, hmm. Not too stressful, actually, surprisingly. Expected it to go a little bit longer than that. You're okay. I mean, you actually are okay. So I'm giving you breath, dude. Oh, yeah. You're okay. You're totally okay, all right? Yeah, I think you're going to be just fine. Because it, it's like I can feel when the stress rises and when I talk about the end and then the chainsaw massacre and it's like, oh no, this isn't a good word, not good language in here. But you dealt with it. You just like straight up right there, you dealt with it. So I'm like holding my head because you're just like, oh God, oh, my head's going to explode. This is too much. Too vulnerable, okay? It's too sensitive, okay? Because that wasn't on the agenda. Like, you started this relationship, it wasn't on the agenda. The end of the relationship, hello, wasn't on the agenda. Like, <laughs> that doesn't exist here. That word, that language doesn't exist because it's not supposed to have an end. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be loyalty. It's supposed to be companionship. It's supposed to be 
I'm focused and it's it's supposed to be that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but <clears throat> Okay, so we got that umbrella thing and we're going to apparently that there's more to this umbrella thing. <laughs> we're going to understand it more here. So, I don't know what comes next with this, but you're gagging on a freaking umbrella. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't just pull it out. I can't just make it go away. It's just there right now, okay? And I'm helping you a little bit, just holding the energy of your head because it's just a lot. You're like having to di digest a lot. This is about the mind. This is about um, face forward. This is about dreams come true, dreams not coming true. This is about the end um, beginning. So there is um, energetic uh, reactions to the, these types of language, these types of words. I feel like I'm the undertaker. I feel like um, I'm like the angel of death here or something. I'm like, a, I, I'm creating a, um, an insecurity, but who's insecure? The part of you that uh, had a vision here for this relationship. That's the part of you that's in despair. You know what I mean? That would be the part of you that's in despair. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm really sorry. I am really, really sorry because um, when you start a relationship and your heart's so bright and you're excited and you're tuned into the meaning of it all and you're excited for the long term. And I mean, this is a commitment and this is something beautiful. Like your soul loves this. This is your celebration. And then, <laughs> just a second, this is me even talking about it, this is really hard. <laughs> it's like that part of you didn't intend for this, didn't intend for today, um, and all these years, and how you've changed, but you're still kind of living in the cesspool of your, of the brokenness, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, if you want to, like, rub your back up against, I don't know, a splintered wooden broken house with nails, like, jabbed into you, that's not very comfortable. But when you get out of that broken house, and then you're in a fresh, clean house, there's no pain there, you know what I mean? So you're just, like, hanging out in pain. Of course you're going to be tough as nails. Of course you're going to be different, okay? Because you're still in that situation, you know what I mean? And I'm not, everything that echoes back to me, everything that echoes back, I'm not convinced that you are, uh, that you have lost yourself, okay? I feel like you just, you, you're in the situation that you're still in the pain, okay? So you don't really know who you are. You're basically the representation of pain that you've been going through. It, that's not, that's not all that you are. That's just at the face forward, okay? That's the part of you that's waking up at night and crying, <laughs> all right? So, <coughs> this is a panic attack, man. This is, uh, man, you were so stable there. You were doing so good. Like now we're really working through this vulnerability. Okay. And this is a sacral chakra thing. This is an emotional gut thing. I want to say this is a heart and throat thing. Obviously we've got the umbrella, but I really feel sacral chakra and emotional gut the most right now. Okay. As I'm gagging on an umbrella, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Oh, oh, so, so that's, that's the next thing. Um, you are way too too introspective. Like that's a good thing. All right. <laughs> Underline intros introspective. Introspective. Yeah, it's like is that the right word? Yeah. That's a good thing that you are this way. But I see that you're eating yourself, you're consuming yourself. You're it's and then you're being consumed by yourself, but it's uh you're like a Pac-Man that's eating its own body, okay? So don't do that to yourself. I see that the mirror, um, we all work with mirrors. The whole world is full of reflection. The whole world is. That's what this is all about. It's just one big mirror maze. That's all this is, okay? And so you you are basically, you know, if you look in the mirror and then you can see into the, it's like there's a mirror behind you, a mirror in front of you, and you can see forever in both directions. <laughs> but it's like somehow there's an imploded mirror going on in here and you're way too intro spective why is that word not sound right I just, it's like is that the right word i swear you could turn any normal word into not sounding right <laughs> and that one just doesn't sound right right now okay okay <clears throat> i gotta help you i mean i've got to take you out from inside yourself you swallowed yourself whole no wonder the emotional gut why did you do that to yourself because of pride? 
Huh. Not sure yet. I, I, everything gets pretty darn quiet when I talk about that word pride, and um, I feel also very emotional. Like, I, I am a tree that's been um, standing strong and tall, but I was just made out of Lego blocks, and something just came and just freaking busted me everywhere. Just, like, straight up demolished my strong, solid tree. But I'm still a strong, solid tree. But you're not letting go because of why. If something is violated loyalty, if that's a sort of, you know, we're talking about relationship here. So something violated loyalty, someone violated lo loyalty. Like the loyalty was violated. The, the, the sense of companionship is we work together. We, we, we're honest with each other. We are a hundred percent with one another. Um, that is so important. <laughs> Honesty is so ridiculously important. I mean, I don't know if you can have a relationship if you're not honest with each other. Like it just doesn't work. I mean, if it's not an honest relationship, it's a dishonest relationship, then it is it a relationship? You know what I mean? Like, it's a dishonest relationship, but it's a relationship? No, it's a dishonest relationship. It's like null and void. <laughs> it's like totally null and void. It's like expired. Like, once it gets dishonest, it doesn't even exist. It's like pretending it exists. You know what I mean? This is re really, um, I feel like you're getting, um, okay, 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 hold on. So vibrationally, it's, um, what's the word? Um, I'm roasting you, you know, like you're on stage, it's a comedy skit, and I am just ripping you apart with all my jokes or something. Um, this is healthy, trust me. Um, this is actually healthy because what, what it's doing is it's exposing the most vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable parts of you, and it's making the, it's like those parts are steaming out. They're suffering right now. And so, of course, it's going to feel like I'm roasting you. And and we have to build you back better, like stronger from the inside out. Like, we got to get you strong from the inside out, okay? Because you, you're working with, that's like a table with, um, I don't know, two legs or something. Um, a chair missing a leg or something. I mean, you, you're, you're stronger when you're solid, right? And if you have parts that are vulnerable, it's just... Um, we need to we need to work on this we we need to we, we, it's okay to be vulnerable okay my guides are saying what are the things that are affecting you making you the most vulnerable i say well at the end the words of the end um that was vulnerable um that's obviously back a little bit we're like rewinding and i'm like okay let me re reflect on everything we've witnessed um, and seen thus far because even from the get-go we're talking about vulnerable things it's just hard to see the beginning because we haven't seen the end yet okay that's important and so there is no beginning because you haven't seen the end yet okay so you're still working through this um man that makes my hands feel weird um uh, okay let me let me fast forward here the mirror you're you're introspective that doesn't make you vulnerable for me to say that what is the why is it hard for me to pull it out here dishonest relationship that's that's it those are the words it's a dis it's a relationship based upon dishonesty therefore it isn't a relationship for therefore it never was it, it can't be a relationship if it is dishonest. It can't, it won't ever function. It doesn't exist. The relationship doesn't exist. If it's dishonest, then it doesn't exist, you know, because the only thing that exists that actually creates well-being is honesty, <laughs> you know, because why would we ever want to withhold honesty from our soulmate, you know, from our, the most cherished being on the planet that we're sharing our life with? That is, that is sensitive. That is really sensitive. Okay. That language about dishonesty that I feel like you are, um, like you could explode like a firework, um, just, you know, explode. And, um, because of pride that I feel like pride, it's, uh, that's, that's an ugliness, you know, some vibrationally it's I'm roasting you right now I'm making you um feel really embarrassed right now but it's it, it's only to help okay because we, we're we're pulling things out we're really seeing what we're working with here to help you really get an edge okay over this whole thing okay 
This is so hard, okay? This is really hard. This is really hard stuff. So, okay, yeah, you want to talk to me about this, the word pride, and I say, please, 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 um, why don't you tell me what, what's, what's coming to you on this? Everything is silent, okay? It's completely silent. I don't know what you just said. I have no idea. So everything is silent and I'm in the white space. And it's just like, uh, you're not there. I can't see you, yet you're telling me about pride, okay? And I am pulled into this white space. And I, I feel like this white space makes things clean. Like, we can just white it out. You know, like, the stuff we don't want to hear or read or believe or talk to ourselves about, we'll just white it out. But all this whited out stuff um, is still there underneath the whiteout, right? And then you're getting upset in the middle of the night because you can't cover all this stuff up forever. You can't just white out all the the crap, okay? You just can't white, white it all out and make it disappear. It doesn't just do that, okay? Um, because your soul knows, your energy field knows, your brain, your, your heart, your subconscious, like everything knows. So who are you trying to hide the truth from, yourself? Because of pride, because of pride. Um, and so when you're waking up in the middle of the night and you're venting um, because you need to heal all of this, like it's, you're just like a ticking time bomb, man. You're, you're just venting all this stuff out because you, you, it's not a relationship. This isn't sustainable. This isn't zero sustainable. If it's empty, um, is that on you? Were you swallowed up by your own mirror? You know what I mean? Like, like you are swallowed up by your own mirror. So um, you're, you're trying to, um, you're trying to white it all out, make it a pretty picture perhaps, like, but you can't, it's not, it's not a pretty picture. It's, it's, it's not, okay? So, so it's just, just don't white it out. Just let things be in the raw, okay? Don't be a magician and um, do sleight of hand with your mind on yourself and start falling and fitting into place because of reasons why it makes sense to be in an empty, sustainable relationship that's dishonest. Um, is this, it's like what I was talking about. We have the, these things on the list that you cherish, like like loyalty, so companionship. Uh, you know, you cherish the, that um, soulmate connection, love. You, you cherish those things, okay? So if, if those are the things that you cherish and those are the things that you aren't receiving or experiencing, then what is this? What is a relationship then? Um, Something has broken you to a point you don't even recognize yourself anymore. So you hear what I'm saying? Like you, you hear me on this one? Like straight up. Did you hear me? Because you're saying that, but are you hearing yourself saying that? This is where you're whiting things out in order to, I guess, maybe conform to a comfortable environment that is total BS, okay? Don't do that to yourself. Maybe I'm supposed to roast you into, <laughs> it's all this is is not breaking you down, it's empowering you, okay? It's almost just like, okay, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start making sense of pride, I'm gonna make sense of dishonesty, I'm gonna make sense of, but don't think too hard about it because you're overriding what your heart already knows for comfort, okay? So your mind, your mind is so freaking important, right? introspective, going and swallowing myself at the, up in the mirror, okay? Constantly thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, but you, you just stop it, okay? Heart, okay? Because you know what love is. This is hard because you value loyalty. You know what I mean? You value loyalty, thick or thin. Even in emptiness, I'm never gonna leave. See, that's the beauty of who you are, loyalty. You're, you're there for the long haul. Oh my gosh, that's so precious, like super precious, okay? And now we're in the riddle. Now we're in the depths of the riddle of this situation, okay? Because we can sit here and say, oh, the whiteout and the, the dishonesty and all that stuff doesn't seem to be so important now. As in the depths of what this is really all about, which is loyalty. 
which is accepting um, no matter what. Loyalty is key no matter what, okay? No matter what. That's, that's the root of this. That's why there's no end because loyalty. There isn't a, an end to this because of loyalty. You don't even recognize yourself anymore. I, I don't... So... Maybe that's why you, you... You're working on longevity. No matter how it breaks you down. No matter how this relationship could destroy you from the inside out. You're still going to choose longevity. You're still going to choose loyalty. No matter what, okay? No matter what. What is the breaking point for this relationship? What is the one thing that is going to just, just make or break this relationship? Is there one thing that would actually just, just push you over the edge or there's nothing? You would just put up with everything. You would just do, just put up no matter how many times your heart's broken in this relationship, that's fine. No matter how dishonest it is, that's fine. We just keep whiting things out and then that's fine. If I have to wake up in the middle of the night and I'm suffering here and the memories are eating me alive and the mirror is swallowing me whole, that's fine because I'm loyal. But is it loyalty or is it pride? You gotta find out what the answer to that question is, okay? Is it loyalty or is it pride? You know what I mean? Like, that's so freaking interesting. <laughs> that is a freaking interesting question, okay? All right, let me see. <clears throat> no, I forgot about that umbrella. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not able to know why yet. All right, we'll find out. Um, let me see. What is this? There's something new uh, happening here, and it has to do with, like, a... Um, uh, it's a tool, okay? Um and it's a, a gun, and it has a, a like a bit, and then it drills. It's a drill, that's what it's like. I can't think of the word. <laughs> it's a drill, okay. And this drill is going like right into your brain, right there, okay? It just <laughs> goes in there. Why is that, what is that? Why is that? Whoa! <sighs> <laughs> I'm looking, I, I finally get more, we're in the white, by the way, <laughs> we're all in the white here, and this drill is just going into your brain, and I'm sort of looking over here, and um, there's a lot here, there's a lot of people in here, and I, I don't know if these people are, um, seems like you've got this army of people in here that are putting a drill to your brain, like, uh, how dare you? Like almost like you're. It's like okay. What is this? Maybe putting you back in your place, making sure that you um, are respectful. Um, that you're always respectful. That you're always um, conscientious and caring, and you're really making sure that. You know, you're thinking clearly here and you're saying um, the kind things that are true and you're making sure that, that that's loud and clear and that's a illness. That right there is an illness. That's dangerous, by the way, because it's not allowing you to be completely honest with the pain. It's making you feel guilty for um, choosing to acknowledge the pain exists. The reason why this is here is because of the whiteout. Because you're going to have to tell yourself, you're going to have to be, in a way, um, kind of fudge, fudge the truth. Um, the truth is harsh, all right? The truth is pretty darn harsh. But it's not that harsh. And by probably taking things too far, and you know what? It is empty sometimes. That's probably on me. You know? So, you see this introspective thing I'm talking about? And these drillers, these people over here, so part of your collective, your inner self, okay, um, they're going to punish you. They might even punish you for this session with me. You might feel guilty as all get out for this session with me. And, and uh, oh, I roasted you and I took things too far and I, I'm over inflating the, this is, a, you know what, I was just having a bad day and I, forgive me for this, you know. 
Um, that is uh, uh, that is that is dangerous right there. Don't do that. That is a dangerous thing. I swear that's how you know people stay in abusive relationships because they're gonna blame themselves or something. It's just some weird psychological thing that that I feel compassionate loving people do, okay, to make room for the imperfections and to forgive everything, but is actually holding you in a state of imprisonment and it's dangerous. You're doing this to yourself, okay? And I swear pride is behind this. Pride, okay? Now, I need to understand this word still. I need to talk to you about this word. Okay, so these people are here. Just tell them, you know what? Don't come off on the sides. Like, you're coming off from the, the right over here. Like, come on out to the front. Let me see you. So just stop this a drill, okay? They're ugly. They represent like 50 ugly parts of yourself. They're hideous. They're uh, grotesque. They're weird. Um, they're all female. Um, one of them, uh, half her body is, uh, is exposed, like her bones and muscles and organs. The other half has skin, okay? She's in a lot of pain. Another part of you looks like a, a cube-shaped block, like she just like somehow manage to digest a ginormous cube shaped block and it makes up her whole stomach region. She's in a lot of pain, okay? Some of them are strange. Like this one looks like an animal, um, like a like a very adorable tiger s. Like a tiger s? <laughs> Tigress? I don't know. But it's a female tiger. And she's got a pink flower on her ear and she's she's got very long lashes. She's like da 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 da. <laughs> She's very feminine and beautiful, like, represents soft and... There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh... They're all, there's something wrong in the midst of each and every one of these, and there's so many individuals in here. Boy, I, I don't know what to say. Like, there's a collection of yourselves in here. I gotta do something about this. Why with the white? I'm just gonna ask your higher self to help because... Okay, okay. Your higher self, I just say, what do we do here? Standing in the white and these random people are here... In the white is very hard to understand what the conversation is. It's hard to understand, communicate. It's hard to, the communication is um, fudged. It's um, hidden. It's um, it's convenient. Communication is convenient. It's um, careful. It's um, maybe comfortable or safe. Um, sometimes it loses itself, which is just a bondage. You're literally in bondage with yourself like how dare you lose control and get upset and say these negative things you know it's just it's it it's ridiculous you should say these negative things because these sometimes these negative things are the reality and too much like sugar coating we get confused as to what what is real anymore as we are literally losing ourselves to these relationships like this happens it's a dangerous place to be in, in your mind and in your heart. <sighs> You're not letting your higher self in. You're not listening to your heart. That's what this is. That, the reason why is because you're afraid of what your higher self will tell you because you just don't want to hear the bad news. You don't want to hear the hard decision-making kind of news. You want to keep this where it never ends and you can always stay in a place of loyalty even if it destroys you, even if it kills you. Which then, what's the other half doing? Just free reign? Like, um, just, just whatever they want? Like, it's like two roommates, two people. Why are you together? You're not even in a relationship. So if you're not in a relationship, like, you're just two roommates. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a relationship. So what what holds you together other than what is it loyalty or is it pride? Like what if maybe we could just call it both. Maybe it's somehow both. But... So 
so quiet in here. All right, your higher self, I'm going to let your higher self enter your heart, which is kind of scary for you because you don't want to lose, um, you don't want to make a mistake. That's what it is. You don't want to make a mistake. That's funny. I'm going to let your higher self into your heart. That's terrifying because you don't want to make a mistake. Like, mm, which part of you is terrified? Your ego, the survival part, the comfort part. But your soul isn't afraid and your soul isn't making any mistakes. Your soul isn't making mistakes. Your soul hasn't made a mistake this whole time. It hasn't made a mistake at all in this relationship. It hasn't. It's learning amazing things. And we can be grateful, right? But we have to understand um, the balance here. But it's all about how you, what you want to get out of this life, okay? It's always about what you want to get out of this life. And there I am speaking to the comfort zone. Speaking to the comfort zone. Instead of just being straight with you, okay? But it's because you've been hurt. I mean, and you're tired. It's just, but are you? You know, are you that tired? Maybe it feels that way, but maybe you really aren't as tired as it might feel. I ask you if you're, if you're okay with your higher self entering into your heart. I mean, your higher self is powerful, is amazing. Uh, I mean, you want to talk about knowing the right words, knowing, knowing how to work through any situation, the power of your own heart, the power of your own soul. Like, you need that energy. You need that energy propelling you forward, not to... Uh, not insecurity or something propelling you forward, comfort zone propelling you forward. Like, what is that? You know how to, you know how to think clearly. You know, you have to do what the right thing is for you, okay? But what is loyalty if you if you only do the right thing for you? This is a major this is a major conundrum. <sighs> At what point has the line been crossed to the point where you finally realize there never was a relationship to begin with? So what were you loyal to? An idea. That's all you were loyal to. You were loyal to an idea. You weren't loyal to an actual person, a soulmate. You were loyal to an idea. And the idea was it was full of dishonesty. And so there's nothing here to be loyal to. Zero here. So I set you free, okay? <laughs> there's literally nothing here to be loyal to. I set you free. So the only thing holding you here is pride. <laughs> yeah, that's it, you know? That's what it is. See, again, it's like, uh, you're roasting me, like, and I say, I know, but I'm hugging you too, because it takes so much ridiculous courage, and it's such an admirable person that is really genuine and really cares about the longevity of a relationship, rare thing to find these days, but maybe it's not, maybe it's just not advertised, but I think there's a lot of people that value a companion and value the long-term relationship. It's, it really needs to be um, celebrated that that is in the nature of who you are as a genuine loving person, okay? And it's a genuine loving person who develops these kind of responses to the confusion of a, of a, compl a complicated relationship that's harmed you, okay? And so... Hmm, that's everything. You've got plenty to, to just reflect on and digest. Yeah, you got a lot. So it's not just about the language here, okay? Because I know there's a lot of intense language here. Um, there's a lot of language, and it keeps saying, you're, you're roasting me, okay? <laughs> like, I just... <sighs> but just trust that the... Let the energy do the work, okay? Yeah, listen. Be consciously clear of the conversation. Reflect on it, right? Um, let it be vulnerable, let it be difficult, you know, but, but let the love do the work too. Like let your higher self help you. Let this energy just do the work and just let it, let it reveal some epiphanies. Okay. Cause that's going to happen from the inside out. It's already moving things for you. So yeah, <laughs> dang, this is so ridiculously powerful. I, 
I thank you very much for this. You just never know what you're going to get. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for exploring the session. Thank you for sharing. For those watching, if any of you are interested in having me take a look at anything you got going on there, if some psychic wisdom energy healing is going to help you in your life, I would be honored to support you. You can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right. Have a great day, everybody.